Hello, Facebook. Hey, guys. Two days left in the Sincerely campaign, so I thought that I would bring out the big guns. You see what I did there? That was pretty good. Big guns. That's good. Introduce yourself for people that are living under a I'm rock. David Ramsey. I, um, I'm i also on Arrow with Stephen Amell here. I play the character of John Diggle. I have big arms. Maybe explain the office and what you're seeing, and not only that, but our pro tripod here. Well, this is the pro tripod, I forget about it. But the office is very nice. Um, we have a lot of pictures, various fan work that um, Stephen has posted on the wall. Listen, send as much fan work as you can. He posts it all on the wall. This is great. <laughs> and um, it's pretty nice, pretty neat. Okay, so a couple of days ago, you and I had a conversation about the word sincerely and the fact that I wanted to get it into the Oxford English Dictionary. It's a good word. But do you remember your reaction when I told you that I wanted to get that done? Yeah, I, I was, first of all, I was like, that's amazing, first of all. And, and second of all, can that really happen? Can you really get a word in the Oxford Dictionary? Yeah, yeah you basically said to me, are you serious? Yeah. And right. I said, I'm 100% serious. You are sincerious. So I explained the whole sincerious thing in the charities, right? Stand for the silent, pause and stripes, yes. all that good stuff. Yes. Good. What I would like you to do is I would like you to create a word. Um, well, I am both hopeful and joyful that people will receive sincerely in the lexicon okay. of everyday life. So I am... Hopefully, <laughs> anticipating a very good reaction from our public. Hopefully, that is correct. Hopefully, that is correct. So, what does hopefully mean to you? Well, it means to me that one is filled with both hope and joy mm -hmm. for a specific outcome, expecting, uh, in a spirit of hope and joy, a specific outcome for a specific thing. Like that thing where you put good energy out into the world and you get good, good energy, energy back. back. I couldn't have said it better. Mm -hmm. Or pointfully <laughs> expecting good things. Give people one uh, arrow story. Just one. Just one arrow story? Yeah. Um, well, there's so many. But there are great stories we have. What's in the box? What's in the box is a good story. But here's an even better story. <laughs> this is a good story about, and I've told this story before, but maybe you haven't heard it. Here's a good story about how Stephen Amell knew that David Ramsey, who is uh, plays John Diggle, again, who doesn't really have much of a sense of humor on the show. It's kind of under, it's kind of an undercurrent of humor, I think. It's not an overt sense of humor. This, I think you give good looks. I give good looks, that's good. But he wasn't quite aware that David Ramsey had a sense of humor at this time. Just during <laughs> I know and it was great, right. it was awesome. Because it was his close-up. The camera's looking at him and he has to deliver his line straight. I'm playing his chauffeur at the time, and uh, I have to come up to him and say, Mr. Queen, your car is ready. That's what I have to say to him. That's not what you said. It's not even close to what I said. Instead, when the director said action, and the camera is on Oliver, Stephen, I come up and I say to him very quietly and seductively, I might add, I have huge... Carry certain body part. This is very close to his reaction on camera. He just kind of turns beet red and goes. You have to understand that this was like this was not this was not a, a, a step forward in our friendship. This was like a leap. Yeah, this was a this was a huge leap. I mean, it it was it was really it set really the stage for. Every single day <laughs> at work now is just going to be a free-for-all and uh, just a really good time. So you I, did it. Well, you did it. We, I couldn't have asked for a better person to work with, and that's true. Oh, that, that's... That is sincerely, and I hope you take that whole point for you. Boom. Going to end it right there. Thank you, David Ramsey.